Hello everyone, we will continue the topic how to send a ALV output as an email attachment and in the previous videos, firstly, we simply created a program based upon our requirement. The program is displaying the output in ALV grid format. After that, in the previous video, we understand the concept of these four classes, which are for business communication services. Now we will go for the steps one by one and total we will perform these 11 steps whenever we want to send ALV output as an email attachment. And the best part is yes, we always have to perform these static steps. Now, what is the first step? Prepare a text format for our ALV data. So firstly, we will go for our program and we will prepare a text format for our ALV data. Now the first question comes, what do you mean by text format? Text format means what we will do? We will simply, simply combine that data. We will take a separator between that data. Separator can be anything. We can go for tab. We can go for hash. Whatever it is totally your wish. And after that, we will simply, simply append it to one internal table. Means rather than individual column. Now you can see in this internal table, we have that data of these three columns. What we will do? will combine the data of these three columns and will provide a separator between these three column data and we will simply append it to one internal table. So I will write the logic for the same. So firstly, if this particular checkbox, if this particular checkbox is ticked, only in that case we need to send the mail. It means we will perform these 11 steps when this checkbox is ticked. So how I can check? You all know whenever we want to check, the value will be capital X. Whenever we want to check that this particular checkbox is ticked or not, it means this particular checkbox or this particular parameter has the value capital X. So I will write a logic as a part of that. And I will write the logic after this select query because data should be there. After that only we can send that data. This is the most common mistake we maximum people will do. They will write the logic before the select query. If data is not fetched, how we will send that data? So after fetching that data, we will send that data. So I will write P underscore CHK is equal to capital X. Anyways, by default, it is ticked. But if user is removing that checkbox, in that case, we will not send the mail. Now I will give end if. So what is our first step? We will create a text format for our ALV data, or I can say ALV output. This is our ALV data, yes. So what we will do, we'll create a text format. As I told you, what do you mean by text format? We'll simply combine that data. We'll concatenate the data of all these columns. As of now, we have these three columns and we will take a separator between that data. So what I will do, I will simply, simply create a structure first. Suppose I will go for types. Big and off. Suppose I am writing LTY underscore data. Suppose my name of the column is the data. Now I will give the length. If you see these three column data, VBELN 10 character, ERNUM 12, and EDWR 15, 15, 12, 27, plus 10, 37. So I can take 100, no problem. Many times we have so many column, suppose 20 column, 25 column. At that time, you need to take the length based upon that only because you are concatenating that data. Yes. So at that time, take a bigger length. At this point of time, if I will go for 50 or 40 also, 
that suffices the purpose. Still, I am taking 100 days. So I am writing data 100 will take the type as C. I am ending this particular structure. Now I will create internal table and work area. Data. LT underscore data. Type table of LTY underscore data. I will create work area. LWA data. Type LTY underscore. I am taking only one column into this structure. Because we are concatenating everything, yes. So only one column is enough, yes. Now how I will write the logic. Your data is in this internal table. So we will simply put a loop on this internal table. Our ALV data is in this internal table. So I will write loop at LT underscore VBAK into LWA VBA. For every loop, there is a end loop. Now we will simply, simply go for first thing. Just think, whenever we will send this data, column labels will also be there. Yes, we need to go for column label. After that data will be there. Yes, but column labels will be only one time. Yes. After that, data can be anything. Data can be 500 rows, 1000 rows, 2000 rows, any number of rows. But column labels will be only one time. It means whenever we will append that data to this internal table, this internal table, we need to go for labels only one time. Labels only one time. So how, how we will go? So we will simply write if Psi tab x is equal to 1. I will go for and if. Now I will simply write concatenate. Now after concatenate, yes, I will simply write sales document number. Then I will go for simply, simply this username. Then I will go for simply third column amount. Into I'm simply, simply going for work area. What is your work area? LWA data. And what is the column? What is the column? Data. Now we need to go for separator. So I am writing separated by. Now it's totally your wish. You can go for it. Suppose I am going for pi. Pi is the separator. You can go for any separator. It is totally your wish. Now, I simply, simply pass all these things to this work area. Now, can we append it to internal table? Yes, append LWA data to LD. We'll clear the work area. See, this internal table might have thousand of records, but it will check. If Cytabix one, Cytabix means what? This, this if condition will only, only execute for the first record of the internal table. So it will only execute for the first time. Yes. Now, next thing. We should not hard code the labels. Anyways, we will change here also. We will always have to use the text symbols. So I will use the text symbols. I will activate up to this level. I will go for go to text elements, text symbols, 0, 0, 0, sales document number, 0, 0, 1, username, 0, 0, 2, amount. 
will simply activate. And now I will use the text syntax. This is text hyphen zero zero zero. This is text hyphen zero zero one. This is text hyphen zero zero two. Same thing I need to apply here. Text hyphen zero zero zero. This is text hyphen zero zero one. This is text hyphen zero zero two. So we simply replaced. Now we have passed the labels to this internal table. Now we need to pass that data also. Now how we will send that data? I will now simply write that law part with without if condition. So I will write concatenate. Now what is our first column? L W A B B A K. What is our first column? B B E L N. What is our second column? Second column is E R num. What is our third column? Third column is N E T W R into. Now we will simply pass it to work area, and I will write separated by this pi. Now. We are concatenating the data of these three columns into this work area column. Now we will append it to internal table. Append LWA data to LD. Just simply think in this internal table, you have thousand rows and three column data. You are concatenating that data into this. You are appending into this internal table and the separator is five between them. Now we will get the error. If I will go for syntax check, now concatenate is a string. It's a string operation. You all know whenever we will go for string operation, string operation is not applicable to this because it is not a character data type. It's a numeric data. So what I will do, you all know, if you want more detailed understanding, you can refer the video of string, what are the string operation in a back programming part one playlist. String operations are only applicable to the fields having character data type. Data type means character. You can go for numeric. Now after that character C, N, yes, these all are the data types on which we can apply the string operation time date only on these data types we can apply the string operation now amount if we see this amount it's not a character data type it's a numeric data type numeric so what we will do we we'll simply simply go for type conversion type casting so what i will do i will simply write LV underscore amount is equal to what is work area LWABBAK and ETWR. So, whatever the amount is coming, I am passing it to this variable. I will declare this variable data LV underscore amount. Suppose I am taking length 20 type C. Now, whatever the amount is coming, I'm passing it to one character type variable. Yes, I did the type casting. Now, rather than this, I will simply write LV underscore. Now, I will check the syntax. I will clear the work area up to this level. LWA take. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate up to this level. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with the steps and as a part of that, we are going for first step, 
uh, we will prepare a text format for our ALV data. So what do you mean by text format? Text format means what we will do, whatever the data we have, suppose we have 100 column data, 50 column data. So what we will do, we will concatenate that data. Anyways, we'll take a separator between that data because separator will take a vital role whenever we will send the email. Yes, there must be a separator between that data and we will simply, simply append it to internal table. So what we did as a part of that, we simply declared a structure. Yes, because we are concatenating that data. It means only single column is required. Yes because we are concatenating each and everything into a single column. Now you can take a bigger length if you have so many columns. So we have written the if condition. I declare the internal table work area. We have put a if condition because email sending should only only be there if the checkbox is ticked. Now I put a loop on the internal table. Firstly, we are going for label. You all know label is only one time. So I put a if condition. If site app is one, we are concatenating the labels into the work area. We are appending work area to internal table and separator is with to pipe. Now, whatever the data is there, we are simply, simply appending it to this internal table. Now, whenever we applied the string operation, we are getting an error for the amount because amount is not a character data type. It's a numeric data type. Yes. So what we need to do, we need to go for type casting. At that time, I took a variable of C type. I simply passed and I use into my this particular string operation. Now, many people think, Rather than putting this in the loop, can I put this outside the loop? Yes, you can go for that also. Suppose if I will simply comment this part, I can use here also. Suppose I will simply write concatenate. It's totally your wish because many people think every time it will check the if condition. So performance might degrade. So you can write this also. You can write like this also. Before the loop itself, we are simply, simply appending the labels to this internal table. So it's totally your wish. You can go by this also. Whatever, anyway, it's a logic. You can write the logic in any way. Now in the next video, we'll simply, simply convert this text format to binary format and we will move on to the further steps. So that's it in this video. Thank you.